The answer is no. You cannot demand that I do unlawful orders. I teach constitutional law. Be very careful, officer. Okay. You don't think that it'll affect you, but by about the second year, when I get into your jacket and you get a, a complaint on your jacket, and then you get demoted from overtime, don't, and then that affect your get pension. Your, get your hand out of my face. Welcome to another video of the People's Court, where we ask for your help to evaluate all police interactions. So leave a comment below with your opinion related to the video according to the state or country that you live in. In today's video we have got a constitutional law professor that wipes the floor with two cops in such a way that they live in a hurry refusing to give any of their information. Check this out. But first, a quick question. Why does the cop sit on the toilet? Let me know your answer on the comments and on the next video I will select the funniest one and reveal the real one. So don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Hey! Do you have a driver's license, please? Insurance and registration. I sure do. Okay. Is there a reason why you pulled me over? Yes, there is. You ran a red light when you uh, were at university and uh, rural, and then you made an improper turn right here when you cut the car off. That was the lane number L2. Do you have a driver's license, please? I do, but it's, it's in here. You're not going to be scared if I reach it, are you? Do you have any weapons? Well, I don't answer any questions, but you can clearly see inside of my vehicle. I have camera equipment. I'm a TV producer. Okay. Do you have a driver's license, please? I do. Could you grab it for me, please? But I was I did a U-turn where the road was closed. I just want you to notice that. All right, could you get me your driver's license, please? I can, but I got to reach in here and I don't want you to be scared. Just give me your driver's license. This please. is the Mullen Commission. I teach constitutional law. Okay. Just just so you understand what you're doing here. All right. Be give really me, careful your steps here. Give me your driver's license, please. You Insurance can't you, you can't say I ran a red light when the road was closed and I didn't see the road was closed. I took a right and there was nowhere to go. Please give me your driver's license, your insurance, and your registration. You don't have to be demanding. You can clearly see I'm pulling out my identification for you right here. There's no reason for you to be rude to me. Remember, 300,000 people follow me teaching constitutional law. So while you're armed and dangerous, I'm not. And you can't lose your temper because I'm a citizen and you're doing your job. I'm just you, asking for your identification. Right, but you're being aggressive towards me and I don't like it. So you need to stop. You have eight minutes to conclude your stop. Right. If you mess up one step of the way, I'll get your jacket. Okay. And you know what I'm talking about when I say your jacket. You need to identify yourself. I clearly am showing you my identification Can right here. Please? I'll take the tape off and I'll give it to you. And you guys have just become tyrants. Like I'm not usually this close to someone who's just so dangerous that carries a gun around pulling people over, demanding things. It's like, it's absolutely ridiculous the way you guys behave and you wonder why people don't like you. I mean, look how you behave. You didn't see the road was closed back there? I'm just asking for your identification. You didn't see the road was closed. It was plain as day the road was closed. You didn't see that? I need your driver's license, your insurance, registration, please. Listen, you can, you can be short all you want, but I don't exactly drive around with my identification showing for people to see it. You follow what I'm saying to you? You want to cover it up so you stay protected from identity theft. I mean, what in the world would make you pull me over? You can clearly see that the road was closed and I had nowhere to go. Sir, I've already told you why I pulled you over. Yeah, but you just making an excuse to pull me over to see if I'm drinking or see if I've done something wrong or to look in my car. I mean, the truth is, is there's, there's all the information you need right there. That's my driver's license, that's my insurance. I mean, for me, it's, it's content because I just produce this stuff all the time. Do you have your registration card? Yeah, this is a brand new car, so okay. the registration is still in a giant form right here. I just bought the car, so I just got it. You just, well, I, I don't know which I don't know which one it is here. Oh, you know what? It's over here. It's the uh, sticker. It's the piece of paper that comes. Yeah, with it's the, the piece of paper that comes in the window. I mean, I can't believe you even pulled me over, to be honest. You could clearly see that road was closed. You didn't see the road was closed? I saw, but I also saw that you were stopped at a red light, 
and you turn left at a red light. And then I also saw right here, you turn left from the lane number L1 and straight into lane number two and cut off the other vehicle that was. I didn't cut off any vehicles off, so we don't make things up. Right, I got a, a I got a cam I got a camera in here, so don't say things that aren't true. I didn't cut I didn't cut off anybody. I, I didn't, keep looking for your registration. So I didn't drive right recklessly. Back, okay? I, I didn't, keep looking for your registration. So I, I didn't keep looking for your registration. See or anything else. Let me see if it's a, let me just take a look and see if it's Sorry? Oh, it's All on right. the other side. Let me get my, where, where, where you? On the, on the passenger I, I can, side? I can get it. I don't okay. need you. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need your help. You can, okay. I'm not a criminal, so get the fuck off of me, brother. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to have I'm, you wait in your no, car. No, okay? I'm going to grab my registration like you asked me yes, to do. Sir, I'm going to have you wait in your car. You're not you giving did, me okay? a lawful order. I teach constitutional law. Be very careful what you do. Okay. This is, Be this very is for, careful. This I'm is going, for, you're not for officer safety under Terry versus Ohio. I'm Pennsylvania versus men's right now. I'm outside of my car, the 1978 holding. Are you sure? Yes. I'm allowed to go over and get my registration as he asked me to do. Stop demanding. Look what he's doing. He's demanding me around. Yes. This is not and a lawful you, order. Directing you back into your vehicle. No, because I said don't tell me what to do. Directing you back into your vehicle. No, because I said don't tell me what to do. You don't understand. Do if understand. you make one mistake here, I will go after you. Okay. So now let me get my registration as he asked me to do. I'm going to have you wait in your vehicle. I need to go around the other side to get my registration. Okay. When I'm ready he's to already have, looked at you don't when, you don't tell you're not the boss of me. You're a cop doing a job. Yes. You have this, no other skills is, than this. This is my traffic stop. This is the stop. only this is not your traffic stop. This, this is, is my freedom. This is my traffic stop. This is the stop. only this is not your traffic stop. This, this is, is my freedom. Stop. This, this is. is my freedom. So I'm gonna I'm have going to he asked me to get the sir, registration. I'm getting it. No. I'm asking you to wait no. in your car. No, the answer is no. I know that if you are like me, this shit is fucking annoying you. But you have to remain calm and do the thing that this cop is doing. Better yet, all of you have to do what this cop is doing. If you notice, this cop is not answering any questions. I repeat, do not answer any questions. The only difference is that you are doing it so that they cannot incriminate you. And they are doing it so that they can try incriminate you. This is why we recommend that all of you film all the police interactions that you have. Take it from me, where I live you cannot film the police. So imagine all the things that they can go with. The answer is no. You cannot demand that I do unlawful orders. I teach constitutional law. Be very careful, officer. Okay. You don't think that it'll affect you, but by about the second year, when I get into your jacket and you get a, a complaint on your jacket, and then you get demoted from overtime, don't, and then that affects your pension. Get your, get your hand out of my face. My hands not in your face. I'm having it, a I'm having a discussion like a regular. Again, now you're touching me. Get no, your fucking you, hands you off moved me. Into me. I was standing <laughs> right here. <laughs> Look, who's walking up and doing what to who? I'm not moving at all, sir. I have 300,000 followers, brother. They're going to love this. I have 300,000 followers, brother. They're going to love this. I'm trying to get my registration as he asked me to do. I'm not a danger to anybody. I've already showed yes, him the yes, inside sir. of my car. Nobody has asked you to exit the vehicle. Okay, I'm getting the, the registration. Stop. Why are you in my face? I don't understand this. I'm going to You want to follow me? He wants the registration. I want to nope. get it for him. I want you to keep waiting right here in your driver's seat. <laughs> Listen. See, this is the problem with police in America. This guy right here is an authoritarian piece of shit. This guy right here, he's trying to demand me around. What he doesn't understand is he doesn't have dominion over me. I'm not under arrest. And since I'm clearly gonna identify, I don't have any weapons, now he can't Terry stop me. Do you see the difference? If, if he didn't know I didn't have weapons, then he could handcuff me. But because now, now if he does handcuff me, he's working outside of the color of law. And that's US Code 18, Section 242. You can't let tyrants like this push you around. He literally was physically touching me, when if he didn't have that badge and gun, he would never do that to me, ever, because he knows better. He knows what would happen, don't you? Without that badge and gun, we both know what would happen. You're the beta male, I'm the alpha male, and you know that, and you're scared, and you know you are. That's why you have your hand on your gun, because you're scared. Look, he's scared, as he should be, because a real man face me man to man, not without the badge and gun, you see? He, he put his hands on me and physically touched me because he's working inside of the color of law. Now, if he puts me in handcuffs after I showed him that I don't have a weapon, that's an illegal detainment, which means 
I could sue his ass personally. He no longer has qualified immunity. But see, he's a Neanderthal. He doesn't have any other skill sets. The only skill set he has is to be an authoritarian. Like he doesn't want me to go over and get my registration, not because they don't need the registration, because he wants to dominate me and control me. But you see, he's actually a coward. You can see it on his face. He's terrified. Because if he didn't have the badge and gun, he knows he would have no chance against a man like me. He knows that. He knows it. That's why he's dressed up like a coward. That's why he's the way he is, you see? He doesn't have any real power. The only power he has is using the color of law. He physically put his hand on me a second ago. Would you put your hand on me physically if you didn't have the badge and gun on? Would you still try to accost me physically? Or do you know what, or how that would go? Do you know what a cost is? A, a cost? I know what, exactly what a cost is. I teach constitutional law. Let me just give you a lesson here. I'm actually gonna educate this young man. I'm gonna show him a couple things. So this is the Mullen Commission on Police, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure you know absolutely nothing about it. It's the 94 Mullen Commission that shows the police are absolute trash. That's you. You signed up to do this because you're a garbage man. You don't have any other skills other than this right here. Sad, pathetic. So I'm gonna pull out my poster here to show him exactly what he's talking about because he has no idea what he's doing. That's okay though, I'll educate him. I have no problem doing it. See, you can't run around putting your hands on people. You don't have a right to put your hands on me. I'm not armed and dangerous. I'm not a felon. I don't have a criminal record. You see what I'm saying? This is the poster of which I teach on right here. So right here. So just so you guys can see, I'm showing the coward. There's the 1977 holdings of Pennsylvania versus Mims. That's an extension of Terry versus Ohio. Now see, what the coward here is trying to do is he wants to Terry stop me and put his hands on me. But what he doesn't understand is that Pennsylvania versus Mims has a very explicit statute. The officer has to believe that I'm armed and dangerous before he can jerk me out of my car or detain me with handcuffs. So show me what my camera gear in my backpack here what would make you assume that I'm armed and dangerous? And why are you up on me, right? It's like, this is the way American police treat American citizens. It's completely un uncalled for. And they pulled me over because there was a, a road down there that was- That was- Citation, yes, take care by the- What's my citation for? January, red light what? violation, what? improper turn. The back, the citation- You, you couldn't there, see the road was closed Have back there? Night, oh, go, go, go to hell, dude. You guys are both authoritarian. Oh, can I walk over here now? Are you still scared, Copper? Are you still scared? Oh, we're done with our stop. Are you really still scared? Good. Are you still scared? Have a good night. Yeah, coward. See you next time, coward. Which, by the way, I need your uh, I need your business card, officer. I need his business card. Can I get your card, please? I need your business card, officer. I need your business. I don't know about you, but I love this, and at the same time, I hate it. I love it because this guy just humiliated and wiped the floor with these cops. They makes it look like fools. But the part that I hate is that even though he has everything recorded and he has all rights, because of this cop's power trip, he now has to have the trouble of fighting this thing in court or where, wherever it might be. So let me know if this has ever happened to you and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And don't forget to answer in the comments, why does the cop sit on the toilet? See you next time.